Oh, hi folks, it's John from DesireFanatics.com here, and today I'm going to be showing you all about routing your Desire S. So if I uh, switch over there, there we are, I'll be telling you all about it, all the questions you've wanted to know and have been afraid to ask. Okay then folks, I'm going to show you how to get your HTC Desire S to be S off and then route the device afterwards. So, what does S off mean exactly? Well, it basically means that you have access to the phone's uh, NAND memory, uh, which means you can write uh, to bits and pieces on the system that you shouldn't normally be able to get to. Um, the way to find out whether you have S off on already or not uh, is to power off your phone, make sure fast boot is turned off in the settings, hold down the volume down button, and then press the power button to turn the phone on. OK, so we can see up here that my phone does not say S off, it actually says S on, which means it's protected. So, this is actually what we want to be able to um, get into. So if I reboot the phone, I'm going to show you how to uh, get the phone into S off mode step by step. OK, so what are you going to need for this uh, S off business? Well, you're going to need to get yourself to revolutionary.io uh, website and download the Windows or Linux if you're using Linux uh, program. So you download that and then head over to the instruction page here just to make sure you don't go wrong but I'll talk you through exactly what you need to do. Okay so once you've downloaded the revolutionary um, program unzip it into a folder like you see here and then the next thing you need to do is make sure you uninstall HTC Sync if you have it installed. So go to your control panel Programs and Features, Find HTC Sync in the list. OK, now uninstall that. This is just so it doesn't interfere with the phone whilst it's uh, connected to the PC. Next thing you can do while that's happening is go into your settings on the phone and turn off fast boot. So I'll just show you how to do that. I'll zoom out. OK, so go to settings, uh, power, and make sure fast boot is turned off. OK, next step you want to do is download the HTC fast boot drivers from the revolutionary uh, tool website. Uh, you can get to that by going to the uh, documentation page here on the revolutionary.io website. So click on there, which opens this tab up here, and then you can then download the correct drivers. So once that's downloaded, you're going to have to create a beta key. Um, this is just for the utility to work. Uh, you have to enter these details um, before it will allow you to root the phone. Sorry, S off the phone. So pop in your details and set your HBoot version. Now this is something you got or you can get, sorry, from the startup of your phone. So remember when I held down the volume down button on the Desire and turned it on, uh, I had the HBoot version of 0 0.98.000. You've got to make sure that's the correct one you select. Now you're going to want to write down your serial number in here, uh, which you can get from the settings, obviously, in the About Phone section. And once you've put that in, you can generate your key. OK, so we're now going to install the HBoot drivers, which we had from the revolutionary website. So click on the XE, get those installing. Once those have installed, we can get on to the next bit. OK, now you've got the drivers installed. You've got fast boot turned off on your phone. Your USB debugging is enabled. You can now plug the USB into your phone and run the revolutionary program. OK, so once you run it, it will ask for your beta key, which I will now type in. Now you can hit enter and it should begin the process. OK. It's rebooting into Fastboot, and it's telling me here 
When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade, make life take the lemons back. Okay, so it's a bit confusing. We've got something installing here. It's come up with the HTC um, driver here that uh, we installed earlier. Okay, we've got, um, not sure you can see that here. We've got a pink mesh at the top saying revolutionary, so it looks like it's connected okay. It's now asking if I want to download um, internet connection required, the um, clockwork mod recovery. So let's hit yes on that just for fun. Okay, so it's downloaded recovery for my phone. We can now see here already the phone says it is S off. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, the command prompt window has now disappeared, so I'm now going to go to reboot here and we'll just see. Um, sorry, no, I'm not. What we now need to do, yeah, is reboot the phone and put on the root enabling zip file onto the SD card. Okay, so now we've got S off on our phone. What we need to do is flash a zip file to get the root access because, as you can see here, the revolutionary bit doesn't actually give you root access. So, click to download the zip file from the uh, Goo Inside Me website, and once you've um, downloaded it, copy it onto your memory card, which is what I'm now going to do. You can just go on the route actually, so we'll do that. Okay, so now we're going to reboot into the recovery mode and run the zip file. Okay, so again, hold down the power down, sorry, the volume down button on your phone, and turn the phone on. So what we want to do is go to recovery. Once we've uh, done that, press the power button. That will now go into the recovery mode. Okay, so now we're here. This is the revolutionary recovery mode. Um, and we want to go to apply update. No, we don't. We want to go to install zip from SD card. So go down to that, hit the power button. You're now going to want to choose the zip from the SD card, which we just copied on. OK. And we'll find the SU zip file here. I'm just going to hit enter on that. And then we're going to go down to yes, install SU zip. So, it's installed. So now we're going to just, um, we're going to go back, reboot the phone, and We'll see if we've got root. OK, now the phone's finally rebooted itself. I'm going to go into the app drawer again. And we're just going to go to the uh, Titanium Backup uh, program again and just run that and see whether it has root access now. Oh. Sorry, the phone is still uh, loading up, I think. There we go. So the fact it's asking me if I want to uh, allow CPU access is always a good start because um, it wouldn't ask otherwise. So we're going to say allow. And here we go. We've got a nice welcome screen here. We're going to come out the change log. And here we go. We've now got root access and it's OK. So I hope it wasn't too complicated um, to do for yourselves. Uh, that's the first time I've done it, obviously, and um, it wasn't too difficult. There's a few few glitches along the way where I've put my IMEI number in instead of my serial number to generate the beta key, but um, that's all okay now, and I've now got root access. If you have any questions or comments about the routing process, then be sure to let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, this, of course, is the HTC Desire S, not the standard Desire, so I can't say whether that would work on a normal Desire, as sadly I've sold mine now, but... Um, Anyway, that's another story. So, until next time, um, enjoy yourselves, happy routing, try not to brick your phone, 
and uh, I'll see you again on the next video.